If you're in career transition, you're looking for a new job, your resume is foundational for your job search. My name is Bill Benoist. I'm a certified professional career coach here in Silicon Valley. And in today's video, I want to talk about some of the challenges that your resume is going to face when you're applying online or through LinkedIn or any of the multiple job boards that are out there. And these challenges are all based upon something called applicant tracking systems, resume robots, some people call them ATS for short. Bottom line is you got a computer software program that is looking at your resume and not a human. It's making the decision as to whether a human should be looking at it or not. And the problem is 99% of Fortune 500 companies are using these, but more and more small to medium sized firms are using them as well because the prices has gotten so low that just more and more HR departments are buying into these things. So there's a company out there called JobScan. And what they've done is they put together, they reverse engineered the top five applicant tracking systems out there and created what I can only describe as their own applicant tracking system for the average consumer to use where they can take their resume and take a copy of a job description and put this together and see how well your resume matches up to that job description. They can make some little minor adjustments, tunes, before they ever apply online. Pretty cool, huh? So the, today's video, what I want to do is I want to just give you a brief tour of exactly how this works. And you can go ahead and make a decision for yourself. They do have a free plan. You can use it a couple of times a month. After that, they do want to charge you. It's not a big amount by any means at all. We go over the prices with that. I'm not affiliated with JobScan in any way whatsoever. I'm not making any money off this. I just want to share this resource with you. So it's going to be a quick video today, but it's a resource, again, that if you're in career transition, you're looking for a new job, you're applying online out there, this is something that I think you should be aware of. Let me show you how this tool works. So I've opened up my browser. I'm on a Google homepage. The site that I want to go to is jobscan.co. It's not com, it's co. So I'm going to go up here to the browser and I'm going to type in jobscan.co. Hit enter. And now I'm on the landing page for Jobscan. And by default, it lands me as already signed in because I do have an account on this website. You will need an account to go ahead and run the scans. And you do get a couple of scans for free every month. So you can use this for free. If you want to pay for it, it's like $30 if you, a month if you buy three months worth. So it's like $90. Or if you just pay for it month to month, it's like $50 a month. Then you can run unlimited scans. In fact, if you go all the way down here to the very, very bottom, uh, there's pricing right here. I can go ahead and click on this and show you. So free forever, two match rate calculations month. By the way, they change this all the time. I mean, when I first started using this and first started sharing it with clients that I work with, it was like five scans a month for free. And then they went to three scans and they went up to five and now it's at two. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if it's another number by the time you watch this video. But you see over here, this one's been pretty much the same um, ever since I've been using this site. It's like $90 for three months unlimited if you pay for it three months in advance or about $50 every month. So let me give you an example of how this works. So I'm going to go back up here to the main page. And as I said, I'm already signed in. I already have an account on this. So all I really need to do is either copy and paste or upload a resume here. Just simply paste a job description. So let's go out and find a job description. Well, before I even do that, let me explain to you that I'm using a resume that was a client's resume from a number of years ago. I went ahead and removed his name and I put my name on there. I removed the companies that he worked for. So you really can't tell exactly, even if he was to look at it years later, you probably wouldn't even recognize it as his old resume. He was a vice president of enterprise sales for a software company. And so that's what this resume is about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Indeed and I'm going to look for a vice president of software sales. So let's go ahead and go to Indeed. Here we are right here, and I'm going to just expand this to maybe say California, 
and put in there, I'm going to put in Vice President of Software Sales. Go ahead and find jobs here. So we got Vice President of Sales, Energy Orbit, 10 to 15 years software sales experience. Let's see what we got here. That's a pretty healthy looking um, job description. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And we'll just go ahead and do a right click and copy. And we got to oh, close that out. So I got to go back to job scan real quick. Go to dashboard. And we're going to scroll down here and we're going to pop in the job description that we just did. Okay, now, like I say, I already have a resume. It's, it's an actual resume of for somebody that was a vice president of enterprise sales. So let me get that. I have it on my desktop, so I'm going to minimize this. Here it is over here. And you see I went ahead and just put my name in here. And you see I removed uh, the name of companies that this individual worked for. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this, edit, copy. I'll go over here and we'll do an edit paste. Let me expand my window so you can see this all. So you notice now what I did was I just copy and pasted the resume and copy and pasted a job description. We're going to run a scan and let's see what the scan tells us. So as you see, we have only a 40% match. We're in the 40 percentile range of this, so we would want to, you know, definitely increase this. So we can take a look at some of these things, so hard skills, for example. So it says sales experience. This individual here was a vice president of enterprise sales, software company, and yet the word software sales it was not found on his resume, but it was listed twice on the job description. What do you mean, Bill, that it wasn't found on the resume? Well, let's just go back and take a look at this individual's resume for a moment. And bring this up, and I'll go up here, and we'll click on Edit and Find. And it opens this up right here. Let's just type in Software Sales. Okay, there's Software. But let's add the sales part to it. It's not there. So what if, by knowing this, we took a couple of these things here that maybe we're not looking for on the what the applicant tracking system did not find. Let's say, for example, it wasn't looking for finance and we were actually to put software sales in this and so we can match it. This is how the applicant tracking systems can help you get past the ATS at a company level. So we take a look at what I would say is really take a look at the hard skills. This is going to be the most important thing here. Soft skills are also important. You know, listening, reliable, team player, articulate. Let's just take listening for a moment. I'm going to go back over here to this job description right here. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to do it. Edit, find. And let's see what we can find for listening. Right there. Look at that. Required skills. Listening skills. So it's a soft skill. You see how this works. So again, it's a resource. Job scan is a resource out there. You can use it for free a couple of times a month. Take advantage of it if you're looking for a new job, if you're in career transition. I think by just using it a couple of times, it's going to start making you look more closely at the job description before you're submitting your resume. So I hope you found this video informative and useful. And if you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification as I do upload new career tips and strategies every Tuesday. And I'd hate for you to miss anything. Thanks again for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.